Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you all are doing well. Today is Friday, the 27th of January, and it is time for Stash to Treasure, an open collaboration that is co-hosted by Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming, Susan from Susan Hiles Art, Maria from Maria's Miscellany, and myself. And we hope you're playing along. All the information is listed below in my description box. So if you'd like to play along, I hope that you join us. So today's prompt, I just threw the paper on the floor. So there were several things you could use today. Scrapbook paper, collage paper, file folders, or and or binders. So those were our prompts for today. And as you know, if you've seen my other videos, I am making a series of nature journals. And so I'm going to be working on my spring one uh, right now because this is the first one I'm going to actually take out to nature journal in. So even though I am off camera uh, do, working on the other ones, um, I'll work on this one uh, on camera. So what I decided to use is some file folders and some scrapbook paper. So I have tons of file folders and I went ahead, these are just the regular, I think eight and a half by 11 size, they're not the super long ones. So what I went ahead and did was I just cut out some squares. Now your squares would be, of course, the size of your, according to the size of your book. Now what I did was I used the file folders to make a pocket, okay, and um, I then decorated it with some scrap, uh, not scrapbook paper, with some paper that I used um, to make the envelopes in my last video. This is book page paper from an art book to decorate the little po the pocket because I want to be able to um, stick some things in there. Excuse me, and um, so I wanted to have a little pocket and uh, to be able to stick some things in there and I'll show you exactly what it's going to be that that I'm going to be sticking in there okay so first of all I'll show you how I made this pocket I'm going to be making one on the front and one on the back cover of each of my journals so I need to make eight of them I'm only going to show you how to make one I've already made seven other ones so what I did was I cut it to the size that I wanted for my journal. Now I didn't want it to go all the way to the crease here because I didn't want that to cause a problem uh, opening and closing my book. So I came in a quarter inch all the way around on the two sides, like a quarter inch on this side, a quarter inch on this side, and a half an inch on the bottom. And I went ahead with my scoreboard and I scored those lines. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and fold them over like this and I don't have my, I've already put my bone folder away but that's okay, I can use something else and I'm just showing you anyway. So I'm just folding these sides in and then the bottom up, okay, like that, okay. So then you've got kind of like, it looks like this, okay, which is what the other ones look like too. So what I do though to make it so that it doesn't have this bulk where you've got the two side, the bottom and the sides coming in together. I went ahead and just took my scissors and I just cut a little triangle off like this. And we do this, you know, when we wrap book fronts and stuff like that, sometimes to get rid of the bulk, you'll do that. So that that is all I did right there. And then that way you see when you fold it in, it's nice and neat here. It's nice and neat on this corner here, and there's not that big bulky section. So that's basically it. But then what I did was I took my, my uh, this is a one and three eighths inch circle punch, but you can use whatever size you like. And I went ahead and I didn't measure this, guys. I just kind of eyeballed the middle and cut my little thumb notch, okay? So there it is right there. So this is basically how you make the pocket that you attach to the back. You're gonna put the glue on the folded parts and just attach it into your journal like so. But then I went ahead and of course I used my, my uh, ink 
This is vintage photo. I think this is vintage photo. Yeah, I think it is. Um, it, it's so dark on the front I can't see, but I, I believe this is the vintage photo. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the edges. You can ink it or not, that's totally up to you, but since this is a nature journal, I kind of wanted to um, not really grunge it up, but, but make it a little, a little bit grungy, not too grungy. Okay, so we're going to put that to the side now. All right, so to attach it, okay, all you have to do, oh wait, before I attach it, I want to put a picture on it. So like I said, that just came from some of these scraps I used from my last video when I made the envelopes. So I'm just going to take a scrap, and again, I didn't measure, I eyeballed it. Now instead of marking on the front of this, because if I cut, I might actually miss where I'm going to um, want to cut. So what I do is I flip it over and then figure out where I want to cut. So I've got it flipped over here this way and I'm just looking, okay, I like about that much on the side and about that much at the top. So on the bottom, I'm gonna cut here, again, just eyeballing, and then on this side, maybe here, okay? So I just did that, and now I'm going to go ahead and cut my little lines here. And um, then we're going to attach it to the front. And you can see from my pocket that I did that I just put this on. I did not uh, really do any other decorating. Now these scraps, if there's anything on them, which there is, I will keep those for something else. Um, even my trashy journal or something, I don't know, maybe that. So here we go. So then I'm just going to go ahead and attach that to there. But again, I think I'm going to give this a quick little go around with the vintage photo. Because I did on the other one and I want the two to match. So I'm just going around real quick like that. And then we can go ahead and, let me move this stuff out of the way that up there for a second go ahead and sorry I'm going to bump you for a second my glue paper is under the camera legs all right we're going to go ahead and glue this down where's my glue stick here it is Ugh. oops is this the old one yeah okay here we go all right I hope you guys are playing along and I and I, I hope you're having fun. Several of us are making journals, which is super fun, and it's challenging with all these um, all these prompts, you know, what to do with them. What did I do with my pocket? Oh great. What did I do with my Oh Lord, what did I do with my pocket that I had already inked up? Guys, it disappeared. <laughs> Oh no, there it is. Okay, it was sitting on it was sitting on that paper I moved off my desk. So I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball this like I did cutting it. Okay, that's a little bit too over on this side. Uh, just about here. I mean, it's it's, you know, it's a nature journal and once I get drawing in this, it's going to be horrendous anyway <laughs> cuz I'm I can't draw to save my life. So then to glue it on, all I did was just glued these sides here, these little sticking up sides here. So you have about a quarter inch on the two sides and about a half an inch on the bottom. So I'm gluing that, gluing that. Okay. And then gluing that here okay and now I'm using of course my beacon poster board glue because being a pocket things are going to be slipped in and out of it so you want you if you're going to make a pocket like this you probably want to use your you know heavy duty glue so I'm just lining it up with the edge of this brown paper, the inside paper, and I'm just doing like that. And I'm pressing, whoops, too heavy. I'm pressing down along the edges. Now, 
So what I do to get this to hold while it's drying, I just use these little clips. Now these little clips, many of you recognize them. You can get them from the Dollar Tree. At least you used to be able to. Um, I haven't looked lately because I haven't been craft supply shopping there lately. But they were readily available. But you can use any clips you want. And that leaves this part right here that's still kind of could pop up. So while the, the um, glue is drying, I use something heavy like my punch to just go ahead and lay on there. Now I'm going to move that to the side and that's just going to dry. So that's just how you make the pockets. Well, the second part of this challenge uh, or the prompts this time was to use scrapbook paper. So I went into my scrapbook paper and I found some cut aparts that I want to, to use as embellishments in my journal. Now, since it's a nature journal and I'm going to be drawing in it and making notes in it, I don't really want to pre-decorate the pages. I want to have stuff with me that I could decorate the pages, but I don't really want to make the pages all fancy. But what I'm going to do, and I don't need to do this on camera, but I just want to show you. I'm going to be cutting out some of these strips and putting them in the pocket, you know, that I just made to take with me, okay? And then I have these two sheets of scrapbook paper. One is craft and one is like off-white. And both of them have, I don't know what they're for, but they're perforated in these little blocks that say figure one, figure two, figure three, figure four. And the, the craft is the same. And so I'm going to be tearing these apart and taking some of these. And, you know, when you have nature journals and stuff, they always have the figure number and stuff. So I thought that would be fun. And then this right here is two-sided scrapbook paper, but I'm interested in maybe cutting out some of these uh, little uh, stamps with birds and butterflies and flowers on them. And when I do that, when I cut from this one, what I do is I use my deckle edge scissors so that when I cut them out, they're a little bit looking like stamps. I don't have one that is so fine like what a stamp really looks like. So I just kind of use the deckle edge and um, go with that. And I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, again, this is a, a junk journal, so it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just an easy way to do it. And I, I do have some shears that have just the sawtooth back and forth, but the sawtooth is way too big, I think, for this journal. So if you do it with a deckle edge, it just kind of looks like that. So this is also going to be going in my pocket. These, uh, some of these, I'm going to cut them out. And of course, I've got four journals, so I'm going to have to cut out quite a few things because each journal will need to have some stuff to take with it. So the last thing I wanted to show you was also scrap paper. So I have here, um, I went to town yesterday, and let me see if I can get my paper here to hide this background here. I went to town with my dies yesterday, and I cut some die shapes out of very neutral colors. Um, I have these four, three, three little... Um, I thought I had four. I guess I only have three. Three little mason jars. I thought those would be kind of fun. If I have some pressed flowers or something, I might put them on. Or I might just doodle some flowers in them. So I, oh no, I do have four. There we go. So I, each journal can have a little mason jar. And I cut them out of paper that has like clouds on them. And then this one had like mountains, uh, mountains here. And this had clouds. So I have some little mason jars. And I wanted tags, so I did cut several tags. I used this faux or this wood paper that looks like wood. And then this is one of my all-time favorites. I made a lot of embellishments for this. It's like um, peely paint on concrete or something. It's just the coolest paper. So I made some of those tags. Then I made some labels, all kinds of well, this tags and labels. I had several different sets to use. So I've got round ones like this. And then I've got tabs, you know, for the end outside pages. 
I've got oval tags, little tags, medium tags, uh, very small tags. I've got some of these um, whole reinforcers that I made out of that, that concrete-y looking paper and lab, you know more label thingies. And then I also cut out, here's a different, uh, that's more like a book plate type tag. I also cut out a bunch of um, hearts, arrows. I have, must have Valentine's on my mind here. All different arrows out of this green, it's like ombre paper, uh, green to green yellow ombre paper. So I have a whole bunch of arrows that I can use also um, as embellishments in my book because sometimes when you see nature journals, you'll see like an arrow pointing to something. I just think that they're super fun. Um, and so I have some of those. And then these are also all tags down here. So what I'll do, I mean, I've got even tiny little tags. Look at this tiny little one here and this one here. So cute. But if you have a little flower or something, you might just want to put that in and put a number on it or something like that. Um, so all these little embellishments are not going to go in my journal now, but I want them to go in the pockets in the journals so that when I take it along, you know, I will have some things to stick in there. And I'll show you how I'm going to be uh, putting all that together as time goes on. So here's our journal with the uh, pockets in it, nice and glued in now. Um, so there we go, and tons of embellishments, and then I'll cut out those other embellishments, and I'll have lots of stuff to take with me, because like I said, the page is going to be mostly bare. Uh, to take with me. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget your your dies. Cut some stuff out with your dies and use some of the ones that you haven't used before or, or for a while and have some fun with that. And of course file folders are always super fun. So um, maybe you can get some of those out and play with those too. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And welcome to all my new subscribers. It's so nice to have you here. And until the next video, I hope you all are truly blessed. Bye-bye.